हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड जय हिंद आई एम आर्य श्री सोलंकी बैक अगेन विद अनादर न्यू लेक्चरेट टॉपिक व्हिच इज इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग इन दैट इज आई एन एस विक्रांत सो ऑन सेप्टेम्बर सेकेंड ट्वेंटी इट वॉज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डे फॉर अस इंडिया एज अ नेशन वाई बिकॉज वी फर्स्ट टाइम कमीशनड द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई एन एस विक्रांत विच वॉज इंडिजीनियसली बिल्ट एंड डेवलप्ड so let's read and talk and discuss about its significance its importance and how it all developed and how it impacted us and what are the challenges and way forward so let's begin so the current event was as i discussed on 2nd september 2022 india commission its first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier ins vikrant and it has strengthened india's naval power and is seen as huge win for atmanirbhar bharat all right moving on to the significance that what is the importance of this significant accomplishment for india's pursuit of atmanirbhar bharat atmanirbhar bharat is the most important point as the whole motto of this atmanirbhar bharat was developing indigenously constructing indigenously make in india next point india joined the exclusive group of the countries that have the capability to design and build carriers with a displacement of over 40000 tons which includes countries like us uk russia france and china so the development of ins vikrant has taken india into that group of all of these developed countries how huge is that now next point INS Vikrant will play a significant role in the Indian Navy's attempts to develop into a blue water force. So this INS Vikrant the aircraft carrier will strengthen India in developing India into a blue water force. Next point is the challenges. Like what are the further challenges in upcoming development of such carriers? First point is dependence on imports for subsystems and components. so like you all might have been aware of that we still need to import some particular components and sub components for developing our systems so this is one challenge that we are still dependent next point growing chinese influence in the indian ocean this is a very important and crucial point next point is the navy suffers from cost and time overruns throughout most production projects for example ins vikramaditya was inducted into service more than 10 years after it was purchased so this is a huge challenge and a drawback like when ins vikramaditya was actually purchased and when it was actually you know uh, produced and all of that inducted and bought the entire year difference was very huge between inducted and purchasing that was 10 year gap so this was a drawback of a system which we are working on the last point of challenges comes our submarine fleet is outdated and in need of improvement so we read about four challenges right now moving on to way forward like what is the way forward for india we are already developing a lot and we are already implementing all of the promises that have been made to us and by us so what is the way forward india needs to start development of core military technologies all right indigenously the basic and the most important word here is indigenously it will significantly enhance our naval capabilities and military as well so thank you for staying in touch and be subscribing and be available on this channel for the next lecture it and gd topic jai hind